Can one beat Tulsi Gabbard in the Democratic presidential battle? Yes, there's a fat chance. She is still a rookie in this race. But can anyone beat Tulsi Gabbard in push-ups? Is she fit for the office? Why am I asking this? What relevance does, do push-ups have in politics? These are fair questions. A few days ago, a member in the audience challenged Tulsi Gabbard to a push-up contest during her campaign. She took up the challenge. Here's what happened next. Powerful oratory skills are a prerequisite for a career in politics. But do you know that physical fitness is also a factor? If you want to check my shape on, let's do push-ups together, man. Let's do, let's run. Let's do whatever you want to do. Let's take the right pizza. For many weeks now, Democratic presidential frontrunner Joe Biden has challenged audience to compete in a push-up contest or an IQ test with him. A few days ago, Tulsi Gabbard, one of the Democratic contenders, was addressing the people of New Hampshire. And then this happened. Former Vice President Biden has randomly challenged people in the audience to push up competition, even if they're in walkers. You're a former service woman. You have to be in great shape. Do you think you could take them? However, Joe Biden may have some superhuman push-up ability that nobody knows about. <laughs> but I, I, I would take most people to a push-up challenge. <laughs> Gabbard not only accepted the challenge, she bossed the push-up battle too and counted out her challenger like a professional boxing referee. Such a contest with Tulsi Gabbard was always going to be a losing battle. Clearly, the person in the audience has not seen Tulsi Gabbard's addiction to fitness. <laughs> Tulsi Gabbard is trained in different martial arts. She is an avid surfer as well. Gabbard also served in the medical unit of the Hawaii National Unity Guard in a combat zone in Iraq and Kuwait. And since she decided to run for presidency, she has been honing her physical fitness as much as her political skills. Clearly the personal is physical and the political for Tulsi Gabbard. Starting out this Wednesday morning. Great workout. Good job. So I know we're running on low sleep, low fuel. Today's gonna be a big day, an important day. All we gotta do is continue to lead with our hearts and remember why we're doing what we're doing and who we're fighting for. So thank you very much. Tulsi Gabbard has issued a warning of sorts. The staunch anti-war campaigner is clearly fit for office. And it helps to have as many skill sets as possible because this is a presidential race like no other in the United States. New dishwashers that give you more water. While President Trump is fixated with water flow in dishwashers, Democratic contender Michael Bloomberg can communicate telepathically with dolphins. Meanwhile, Amy Klobuchar has didactic memory. She can do the breathless beat, too. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming. All the 50 U.S. states in 30 seconds. Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren should take notice. It's a We're tight race. Joe Biden, world. who has challenged Trump to a push-up so battle, must now be very to, worried. Bureau Report, we on. Country. World is one. We're in trouble. We're in trouble.